Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at a little different type of lighter. This is the Emco 6700. This one's actually the Super 6700P. They make a junior version of this and this is not uh, the original Austrian made uh, Emco. So Emco started in business uh, around 1918. They got their first patent for the first lighter around 1920. And in the 1950s, they developed uh, this style of lighter. And in 2012, June of 2012, I believe it was, uh, they went out of business. Now, a Japanese company purchased the Emco name and all of their tooling, and they moved the production of this lighter to China. So while it's difficult to say that it's a complete knockoff because they are using the original tooling that the old Emco factory used to use, uh, from what I understand from collectors of these, that the fit and finish is not quite on par with what the original Emcos were. However, they do a pretty good job. So this one's uh, built, the Emcos are built a little bit differently. So first of all, to access the chimney to allow more air in for airflow, you just pull down on this little uh, ring here and it allows more air in. Unlike the Zippo, which the chimney already has the holes in it, it automatically uh, adds the air and you don't have really any adjustment there. And then the lighter itself, where you fill it, it has the wick installed there. Uh, to fill this, you just pull off the bottom cap. It's filled with cotton here, and I've already filled this lighter. Just fill it up with a lighter fluid, stick it back in, slide it up in place, and it's pretty well good to go. So for the flint on this, the case opens up here, and you can see that there is a mechanism that holds that flint spring uh, you can actually pull the spring back, and I believe you set an extra flint in here, so whenever uh, this one goes down, you have your spare flint that, I don't know if it falls in. This one came with a flint, but didn't come with a spare flint. So as I understand it, you can add an, a spare flint on board with this lighter. But then it's all held in place. The, the flint is actually in there, uh, in the little tube up there. And the spring, you just push this forward and then the case will flip down and that holds it in place. Now to light this lighter, all you have to do, uh, it strikes the wheel as you flip it open. So just give it a flick and it opens right up. And then again, to get more air, you just pull this down. Or if you want to get a smaller flame, you push it up and it gives you a little bit of adjustment. So this is a pretty cool little lighter. Uh, again, I don't have any experience with any of the original lighters. Uh, I've always used Zippos which work exceptionally well, though uh, they have a reputation like most uh, fluid-based lighters where they will evaporate if you're not using them on a constant basis. So if, if you're not using them for long periods of time, then you're always going to have evaporation problems. And the same is true of this one, though it does tend to seal, it seems to seal quite a bit better uh, because the case is, it makes a better seal down here or the bottom portion of this. And the only way for it to leak out is through the top. And then if we open this up, uh, as the, the the piece that snuffs out the flame is actually kind of molded to fit the, the cylindrical part or cylindrical top of this unit where the fluid is held, a fluid and wick and, and uh, the cotton. And so I would assume, and I haven't tested it long term, but I would assume that it's going to retain fluid a lot more than what you're going to get out of a Zippo. Zippo has a reputation for losing fluid pretty rapidly. Uh, however, this is a pretty cool design, and I wish I'd known about them sooner because Emco has made uh, a lot of different versions of lighters. Some that I would be very interested in trying out, and maybe they're all only going to be available in, in reproduction models um, for Chinese copies now. But again, the tooling, they bought all the tooling and move the production to China. So one would think that they would be really, really similar to the original designs, except uh, as I understand it too, they use a different metal now. So bef before they had kind of a, uh, I think they used some, it was like a nickel uh, mix, and now they use 304 stainless steel. So uh, so this is non-magnetic case and the old ones were magnetic. And that's kind of the way that you can tell the original or an authentic Emco apart from the the reproduction ones. So all in all, it's a pretty good lighter. Uh, they do make another one 
that I really liked that didn't have the cylindrical case, but was more kind of an oval case that was more streamlined. It's set a little bit wider, but it, it uh, didn't, you notice that this one kind of just rolls out and part of the lighter is wider than the other part with the other design it was all one width and so that's one that i would like to pick up i don't remember the name of the model offhand but it did look like a very nice lighter so i've been having fun with this one it's it's really a good operating lighter uh i haven't had any issue with it so far and i don't know how the fluid's going to last in it but it is a little bit different and for that i kind of like it my name is ben you've been watching the texas tool crib i appreciate you watching I'll see you in the next one.